Hello, today is February 1st and this is the Applecast podcast and I'm Alicia. I'm coming from you outside of Nashville, Tennessee for anybody who is new here and this is my sixth year having this channel. So today's episode is going to be hopefully a little short and sweet. I just want to talk about some of the things I'm working on, which is pretty much the same stuff I've been talking about for a while. And um, the choose your own adventure make along that I have currently going on with Chrissy from Knitting in the Heights. And I'll leave links below for the information on the make along that we have going on. It started January 1st and it ends March 31st. Did I say January 1st? Yes. <laughs> That's the kind of day I'm having. Okay, moving on. So I put on a sweater for you guys so you don't have to see me in a tank top yet again. Because um, I live in tank tops. That's my uniform. Tank tops and jammy pants. So this is Revival by Anka Strick. And I just put some stripes in there. It's a pretty plain uh, sweater. But I live in this thing. It's I'm in this all the time. And um, I also am currently living in this hat. I wear it for work. Um, and it just kind of stays on my head. It's just a sock head hat. And um, what kind of yarn was this? Loops and threads. Well, like, it's very thin yarn, so I held it double. So that's what I'm wearing right now. So what am I working on? I am working on my blanket that I've been talking about. The Woodsman hat I started since the last podcast. And I started the Silly Love Socks. My last podcast was yarn organization so I guess it'd be the one before that um, so I will show you I recently just made a video on this is inside out on the um, on this hat because there's a lot of one by one cabling going on one by one knit and purl cabling and I was not going to use a, a cable needle for that so I put in a very bad video I'll overlay it over my face of me doing the, I guess it'd be the right pearl cable and the left pearl cable and how I do that for me without a cable needle. I don't know if that's the proper way to do it, but that's the way that I found it works best for me. So um, this is how far I've gotten. And I, it's black yarn, but you know, you can kind of pick up on, I'll put a picture here too so you can see what it looks like on lighter yarn. I'm doing this on merino and donical tweed, and yeah, it's, I'm guessing because it's called the woodsman hat, it's supposed to just kind of look like twigs. That that makes the most sense to me. And this colorway is black cat. Um, it is not a the black cat is a yarn that I have in my shop, but I don't have it on this base. This is a new base that I recently purchased to see how I like it. And I like it very much, so um, I don't know when I will dye up anything on this base to have in the shop, but when that happens, I'll let you know. So that's what I have going on right now. And then I started the Silly Love Socks. Now the Silly Love Socks, originally I was going to do three different colors, and then when I started these socks, um, the contrast was just really, really low for the, the grape color. So I'm just going to do two colors. This is the charcoal and this is the, I think it's a lavender, heather lavender or something. And um, if I remember correctly, this is merino bamboo. So the yarn is fingering weight, but it's um, really thin. Like it's really thin for, it's like a lighter side of fingering. So I'm going to just stripe this up the leg until I get to where I want to put the, the heart motif, which will probably be right below my calf, but we'll see. Because usually by the time I get, oh, three or four inches above the heel, I'm kind of tired of knitting on the socks. So it, it takes a lot of effort for me to go any further than that. So we'll see how far we go with this. This is how much yarn I have left, which is quite a bit. So I could definitely get the length that I want. Um, I'm knitting my socks on a 2.75 millimeter US 2. 
I forgot to mention the needle that I'm using for my hat. This is DK weight, so I'm making it closeness. I think this is a four, US four. I don't know what that is in millimeters. And this is Chiagu, and if you know anything about Chiagu needles, trying to read with good eyes, never mind, you know, old people eyes like what I have right now. <laughs> my eyes are fading on me. Um, it, it's hard to read. I, it's, it's nice that it's etched on there, but it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's that important. <laughs> what else am I working on? I am working on this blanket that is still not done. But it's very colorful. This is all a mix of Premier Yarns and Karen Cakes. And I am on the last cake, Karen Cake, in the middle of a row, because of course. And this is the ball. The colorway of this is Fairy Cake. I do not think this color exists anymore for Karen Cake. I could be wrong, but this is when they first came out and it has 20% wool. And I don't think they have wool in their Karen cakes anymore. So using that up, I have not measured this, but I'll, let's see. It's definitely a lap, lap size for sure. Um, so I think when it's done, considering how this is you know how this is shaping up it'll be one of those size blankets that you could put over a chair or a couch or something and then when you just need a little something you know it, it'll be that kind of size which is fine with me so got that what else oh I am I'll put in a picture because it's over here and it's kind of a mess but I am on the pockets of my all of the lights from Hoagie Hohi Locatelli. Um, I'm almost done with the first pocket and I decided halfway through knitting the pocket, you know, I think I will get it because I want to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm on the pocket, right? And this is going to go on the inside, Abby, right? And the way the construction is for the pocket, I'm trying to figure out a way to say this without giving it away, I don't think it would. Um, you're, you're sewing it to the inside and I was like you know that's okay but I don't know if I really want to do that I think I'd rather have a free flowing pocket so my idea is to make this longer and then fold it and then seam it up the sides like this on the inside right and then it's kind of wobbling like it's free on the inside of the of the cardigan. Like, let me see if I can figure this out for you. Okay, so like this is the outside of the pocket, right? And then you put your hand and then whatever, and it will be like this on the inside. So it'll just be like free, like wobbly instead of sewn and attached. Unless you think that's a bad idea. I don't... What do you think? Because I can rip this out. It's not a big deal. Because um, even though it's a lot of knitting, you know, doing stuff, I've learned the hard way that I'd rather rip something out in a garment and make sure it's something I want to wear and that I would like than to not rip something out and then regret it later and it just sits. So anyway, that's my thought process on this. So, like I said, I put up a picture so you can see how long it is. It actually turned out a little bit longer than I was expecting. I did want it long to begin with. It's a shorter cardigan, so I did add a few inches to it. And I know because it's super washed, it's also going to stretch, so I did adjust for that as well. Um, I'm not a big cardigan wearer. I want to become a cardigan wearer, which is why I chose this pattern to begin with. Uh, so I think it, the, the final product would probably be two inches, inch and a half, two inches longer. So my idea is to like wear it with, um, in the spring and the fall with like leggings and, you know, a flowy 
tunic or tank top that would go with the leggings and then kind of have that over it. That that's my that's my thought process. So anyway, I've got the pockets that I'm. That's the first pocket. I haven't worked on the other one yet. When I'm done with that, that pocket, I gotta pick up here. These are on. Well, this isn't on hold. This part is on hold because it's going to, I think, attach to this. I'm not quite sure yet. I had to read the pocket section quite a few times because um, it was not computing in my head. So I think that's what's going on with this. And then I've got the arms that are on hold. So I have this much yarn left of this ball and I've got three more skeins. So I'm hoping the three skeins will be enough to do the arms and finish up the pockets. I mean, I can dye up more yarn, but I don't want to if I don't have to. <laughs> But if I do dye up more yarn, I'll have this color in the shop because I'll, I'll make enough that I can at least get a couple of skeins in the shop. So stand by if you want this color and find out if that happens or not. So this color, by the way, is Dark Unicorn. I'm holding, uh, I'm alternating skeins. And uh, it is a black base. Well, the yarn is BFL, Blue Face Luster DK. And it's a black base, but uh, pops of fuchsia and red and sapphire and teal and pink and dark purple and I really love this colorway so yeah I don't think I'm working on anything else so all of these projects qualify under the choose your own adventure make along and it's four categories so it's whips using up yarn from your stash that's been there for over a year um, patterns under 20 projects and stash busting so like 1200 yards or more I'm sorry this video is choppy I had to give up coffee for the most part and it's been a interesting week and a half Tea, I, you know, honestly, if I had to choose between coffee and tea, I'll always choose tea just because tea is like a warm hug for me. Um, but my brain doesn't function as well if I don't have coffee. That's a long story. But anyway, um, yeah, so the way the prizes go is we are going to be choosing a prize from the Ravelry group, Knitting in the Heights, which will be linked below. There's a chatter thread and a finished objects thread in there. And then from Instagram, using the hashtag CYO Adventure Now. I'll write it down here. Um, prizes will not be pulled for each category. You just have four categories that you can use. So the more things that you're, more categories you're using gives you more entries, but we're not pulling for each category, if that makes sense. I had that question a while back and I never got around to actually addressing that on here, so I'm just, I'm addressing that on here. So there's two prizes, one for the Ravelry side and one for the Instagram side. Um, I don't see why you can't enter both. Go for it. You know, you don't have to pick one platform, pick both. That's fine. Uh, it's just that each category um, that you're using gives you more options, so to speak. Um, yeah. So what else do I have going on? This is making me hot. I, I got to put this cardigan away. I'll be right back. So what else is going on? I don't really have much going on other than work, home, eat, sleep, repeat. Don't have that much time for knitting, which is, it is what it is. So, um, so I'm trying to find like easy things to do and anything that's kind of complicated like the, the cardigan I try to save for either my days off or days where I'm at work for less hours than a whole shift because it, it fluctuates depending on um, who's baking that day and where. So I have time today even though I'm working today because it is a short day as I like to call it. So 
But I mean, you know, four whips are manageable. I'm okay with that. You know, because then I, when I'm tired, and I'm, you know, I get home and I'm tired, I can work on the blanket, or I can work on the socks. Or in the morning, if I have the brain space, I can work on the hat, or, you, you know, whatever. So, yeah, um, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else that I have going on right now. Yeah, it's just the same old, same old. So, thank you for all the new subscribers that are here, by the way. I've seen you. And um, I'm thinking about doing a gift away soon. Not this podcast, but maybe the next one that I upload, I will, I'll do that. I got to, I got to get the stuff together first so I can make it pretty sweet. So I can say thank you for getting me past 500 subscribers. So, um, yeah, so I will see you guys later. I do hope that you're having a great day, a great week, a great month. And if you're not, hang in there, baby steps, one day at a time. Trust me, I've been there, I know, one day at a time. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Take care and go make something.